three-digit addition strategies. Let's explore three different ways students might add three-digit numbers. This is the standard we will explore in this video. If you'd like to know more about this standard, please visit the end of this video where I'll break it down. Let's revisit our proof picture so we're ready to add on another digit. Remember, if I did 24 plus 17, I'd have two tens and four ones plus one ten and seven ones. I'm looking for a way to make a new group of 10, and I know that seven and three makes 10. So I'm gonna circle my group of three with my group of seven, make an arrow, and make a new 10 stick. Because in this drawing, I did my five groups going horizontally. Over here, I chose to draw 24 and 17 with vertical ones. Now I'll make a 10 stick. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So instead of circling them, I make them into a 10 stick and I have one left over. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. 40 plus one equals 41. 10, 20, 30, 40 plus one equals 41. You choose if you like to do your ones horizontally in 10 frames or if you like to do them vertically and make a 10 stick. If you make a 10 stick, make sure it's very clear what has been left out and what has been included. If you choose to circle your group of 10, you can circle it however you see it, but don't forget the ones that aren't circled to add those back in at the end. Show all totals. Let's try adding 478 plus 67. I can write them vertically over here, 478 plus 67. And I make sure that my columns are lined up. I have my ones together, my tens together, and my hundreds together. Now that I know that's the case, I'm going to add my hundreds first. So you can see with my secret code cards, I have 478 plus 67. If I take these apart, you can see them by place value. So now I can see that I don't have any hundreds here and I only have four hundreds. Four hundred plus zero hundreds equals four hundred. And then I have seven tens, which is 70, and six tens, which is 60. And so I would say 70 plus 60 equals 130. Or I could say seven tens plus six tens equals 13 tens. If I turn over my cards, I can also see it here. I have seven tens plus six tens equals 13 tens. Or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Next I have eight ones plus six, sorry, eight ones plus seven ones, which I know is 15 ones. Now I can add all that I have. I could say 400 plus 100 equals 500. 3 tens plus 1 ten equals 4 tens, and 0 plus 0 plus 5 equals 5. Next, I'm going to do a proof picture. I have 478. I have 4 hundreds, 7 tens, And notice I did five tens and then I pause, give a space and two more tens and eight ones. Now I have 67, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, pause, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Notice everything is broken into five groups and extras, and I try to put everything together in groups. Now I'm gonna see if I can make any new groups of 10 or any new groups of 100. So let's see. I see five and five, that makes a 10. 
or I could see eight and two, that makes a 10. You circle what you see. I like the five and the five. I'm gonna put an arrow to say I made a new group of 10. Then let's see, I have five tens and five tens. I know that's 100. I'm gonna box those and I can do another arrow to say I made a new group of 100. I don't see anything else that I can group into a 100 or a 10. So I'm gonna count up what I have and use this as my proof picture to prove my answer is 545. So now I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 500 plus 40 plus 5 equals 545. It's important that we maintain our place value, our quick draw, or otherwise known as our proof picture, because this helps us to remember which each of these numbers over here means. We also start on the left for show all totals because I never have to carry anything or make new groups by carrying a 10 here or a 10 here or a 100 over here. So many students like this because we can read from the left to the right like we do in um, English language arts and we do the same in math. We go from the left to the right. It all works out the end and I don't have to remember to carry anything or make any new groups. This is a preferred strategy for students who struggle with place value and need to maintain understanding. New totals below. Let's do new totals below. Instead of going from the left to the right, I'm gonna go from the right to the left. I'm also gonna have my proof picture help me to know what to do at each step. So first I have eight plus seven, and I wanna look over here to know that eight plus seven equals 15. I can check my work and I know that if I have a five and a five, that makes a new 10. So now I have a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and five ones. There's my 10 and my five extra ones. So I'm gonna take my 10 and now put it in the tens column and I'm gonna keep my five ones in the five ones column. Now I have seven tens plus six tens plus one 10, seven tens, plus six tens, plus one ten. And I can see right away that I know that seven tens plus six tens is going to give me a new hundred. I see five and five. Now I have a new group of 100. I'm gonna bring that new group of 100 over to my 100's place. Now let's count just my extra tens. One, two, three, four. I also could have known that seven tens plus six tens was 13 tens, plus one more 10 is 14 tens, and 14 tens is 140. I would have kept my four tens and put my 100 in the 100's place. Now let's count my hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 400 plus 100 equals 500. Let's make sure it matches my proof picture. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, oh, we'll count ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 545. Our language here is really important. It's important that we know that when we did eight ones plus seven ones, we got 15 ones, which is the same as one group of 10 and five extra ones. We knew that seven tens plus six tens equaled 13 tens, plus one more 10, that equaled 14 tens. And I know that 14 tens is the same as 140. So I have four tens that stays in the tens column and I carried my group of 100. 400s plus 100 equals 500s. This method is preferred by many students who want to go to a more shortcut method, but that who often forget when they carry a 10 up here or carry a 100, they call it a one. It's not a one, it's either a 10 or it's a 100. So putting them down below helps us to see that I actually have a 15 here, which means that's a group of 10 
and that's a five, or I have a group of 14 tens, which you can see here, a group of 100 and four extra tens. It also helps me to not forget to add on that extra 10 and 100 at the end of a string of numbers, whereas oftentimes we forget them when they're up here. And it's easier to add one at the end of a string of numbers than it is at the beginning and still have to deal with numbers like six or seven. The cognitive load gets easier as we go down the line. The proof picture does not go away. It helps us to understand and to defend what happens over here. So as you do each problem, it's important that students understand what they're saying and to say the numbers correctly because eventually it will turn into something that is more fluent and they'll just do the steps. So we want to take extra care in second grade that students understand true place value. New totals above. Now we're going to do new totals above, which many of us know as the shortcut method. I have 478 plus 67. I know that 8 ones plus 7 ones is 15 ones. 15 is the same as 1 group of 10 and 5 extra ones. So I have 1 group of 10 and 5 extra ones. Now I know that I have 7 tens plus 6 tens and I have an extra 10. So I'm going to make a new group of 100 because I can easily see that I have 5 tens and 5 tens and that equals a group of 100. Because I know that 7 tens plus 6 tens is 13 tens, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I have one extra 10. So I actually have 14 tens. That means I have four tens that stays in the tens place. And the one, the one is 100 because I made a new group of 100. So I put it in the hundreds place. Now I have 100, 200, 300, 400, plus my extra 100, I have 500. The language here is what's most important. Many students will like this method of putting new groups above instead of new groups below or show all totals. But if students aren't able to use the correct vocabulary that 8 ones and 7 ones is 15 ones, it's a group of 10 and 5 extra ones, or 7 tens plus 6 tens is 13 tens plus another 10 is 14 tens, carry the 100, then they may not be ready for this method and may need to stick to show all totals or another method where they maintain place value. Many of us know the steps but we don't know the actual value of these numbers, so our language matters. This standard was taken from the Common Core State Standard document and can be addressed and looked further into in the Learning Progression document. Each state has its own standards for each grade level. However, most second grade standards stay consistent no matter what state you're in or what standards you use. Feel free to check your specific state standards for any changes to this one. This video will explore 2 NBT 7, second grade, numbers in base 10, 7, where we're going to add within 1,000. We're going to use drawings and some concrete models, but everything is based on place value. We'll talk about properties of operations that we can add the hundreds first or the ones first, that's the commutative property, and or we'll relate the strategy to a written method. This is pretty important. If we only use drawings or if we only use manipulatives, we wouldn't be meeting the full standard. We have to relate the strategy to a written method. Students do not have to have the standard shortcut traditional algorithm. Feel free to check out the learning progression document to learn more about what standard algorithm, algorithm or a traditional algorithm might mean in your state. For most states, the standard shortcut algorithm, we're going to call it the traditional algorithm, is not formally introduced until later in fourth grade and to be mastered by fifth grade. So until then, we will use all of these strategies to help students develop their number sense and sense of place value. I'm Shannon Keebler with Empower Consulting. Thanks for joining me. Please like, comment, share, or subscribe so more people like you can enjoy these videos. Thanks and we'll see you soon.